where you guys are, everybody gonna be trying to give 100. So you gotta go 120, right? When I tell you motivation is life, when I tell you that I need you to, next 100 days, I need you to stay plugged in, right? Because the days you're not plugged in are the days you don't get 120. They say an alligator is so ferocious it'll kill a lion. But I can kill, a, I can kill an alligator with my bare hands. Little E.T., how? They say when a, you wanna kill an alligator, you kill it right after it eats. Because right after it eats, it gets satisfied. And it goes to a state like it's almost paralyzed. Some of y'all in this room, are you paralyzed? You had a little success? You've done what nobody else in your family has done and now you chilling? Come on, you ain't hungry no more? Next hunting, I need you to stay focused, why? You should still be hungry. What have you eaten that's got you satisfied? What have you done? What have you accomplished that got you so full? I'm a contender, but the next hundred gonna change my life. It's gonna change this world. We're ordinary people doing extraordinary things. If that's you and you feeling me, just say, I can. I can. Come on, come on, I can. I can. I can, come on, one more time. I can. Yep, I will. I will. Yep, I must. I must. Maybe I ain't never been through what you've been through, but I've been through my go through. And you don't, you, don't, you don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. And so I execute for my mom. I execute for my grandma. I execute for my sister. I execute for those kids in the hood who are looking for a role model. That's why I wear the hat with a PhD. That's why I wear the J's. So when the kids in the hood look at me, they say, if E.T. can do it, I can do it. That's why I can't quit and give up, even though I get tired just like everybody else. Why? Because this is what I do. This is my lane. This is your lane. You got to murder it. So when I ask you, you got energy, don't play with me. When I, tell, when I say again, you got that energy for the next 100 days, I need to feel your soul in this room. All right, I can? Yeah. Come on, I can. I can. Come on, I can. I, can. I, will. I will. I must. Come on, I can. I can. I will. I will. I must. I must.
yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances. Finessing on them with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this. Parmesan with my accountant lives. In fact, I'm down in this. Do say with my boo, they taste like Kool Aid for the analyst. Girl, I can buy your Westy world with my base stuff. I know that it's good. Won't you sit it on my taste buds? I get way too petty. Won't you let me do the extras? Pull up on your block and break it down. My left stroke just went viral. Oh, hold up, sit down. Hold up, hold up, hold up, be humble. Hold up, hold up, hold up sit hold up, down. Hold up, hold up, hold up, be humble. Hold up, sit hold up, down. Sit down, little, sit down, little. be humble. Hold up, hold up, hold up sit hold up, down. Hold up, little, hold up, little. be humble. Hold up, sit down. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Who that arm um, thinking that he frontin' on that man? Get the arm um, off my stage. I'm the same man. Get the arm um, off my. I know this. We will come back Monday and we're going to stick together. You don't want to stick together, find something else to do, and we're going to get better every day, every week, always. But it starts with attitude. It starts with sticking together when things get tough. That's what it takes to. We got so much football left, fellas, we're not even close to being done. It should stink. It should stink. And I would be disappointed if it doesn't, because I don't want you on this team if it doesn't stink. Stick together. We're going to get this turn. Let's get a family on three. One, two, three, family! My favorite memory from this football season is beating Harden in the homecoming game. My favorite me memory from this football season was kicking my former school's ass during homecoming. Yeah, I'm burning it up. DPGC, you should be turning Turn it up. up. CPT, LBC, yeah, we hooking back up. And when they bang us in the club, baby, you got to get, get up. Cause yeah. homies, thug homies, yeah, they giving it up. up. Low life, yo life, boy, we living what it up. up. Taking chances while we dancing in the party for show. Sure. Slip my girl a 44 when she crap in the back door. Chickens looking at me strange, but you know I don't care. Step up in the smother. What? Just a swank in my head. Trick, quick talking, crip walk if you down with the set. Take a bullet with some grip and take the smoke on the jet. Out of town, put it down for the fire. Of rap. And if you happen to get cracked, trick shut yeah, your yeah, trap. Yeah, Come yeah, back, yeah, get back. That's yeah, the part of success. Yeah. If you believe in the S, you be relieving your stress. It's the one and only Hold up, play For my niggas who be thinking we soft We don't play We gon' rock until the wheels fall off Hold up, play For my niggas who be acting too bold Take a seat Hope you're ready for the next episode Hey
coming real, it's the next episode. My favorite memory from this year was the Belgrade game because I set the new single game rushing record. My favorite memory from football this season was getting my glasses so I can see my Ram fam play football.
took the midnight train going <laughs> anywhere. Hey, you see, Showtime, we're the greatest show on turf, you big, know. Big ball of brand. Big ball of brand. Big ball of brand. We out here, big ball of brand. Big ball of brand. I'm LaMelo, this is Lonzo, we got Leangelo, this boss, LeVar. this LeVar right here. This guy big is ball big, ball ball big, ball big, big ball of brand. Big ball of brand. Right here. I couldn't do it without these boys right here, you know. We're all team, we love each other. For me, football means being able to be a part of a team, which eventually throughout the season turns into a family. Generals gathered in their masses, just like witches at black masses. Evil minds that plot destruction, sorcerer of death's construction. Fields of bodies burning As the war machine keeps turning Death and hatred to mankind Poisoning their brainwashed minds Oh, Lodger! Yeah, I was pretty close. I was about three yards or so. Oh, okay. But you saw him just kind of slip there? Yeah, he looked at it, and I, I'm like, are you going to take that? Or Everybody's like, dude, why didn't you pick it up and yeah. score it? And I'm like, I probably should have. My favorite memory was beating Laurel. Beating Laurel. Beating Laurel. Beating Laurel.
For me, football means being able to be with my friends and now I can call them my family. For me, football means to be part of a brotherhood. Working together as a team. For me, football means being part of a family. It's coming together with your brothers to achieve one goal. Being given the opportunity to go out and compete with my peers. Playing football means being able to compete with some of the best football players in the state. <laughs> Chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it. You better never let it go. To never let it go. To never let it go. To never let it never let it never let it go. Lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity. happen today obviously it's gonna get a lot tougher a lot tougher real proud of you the team out and just got real physical got after them. Uh, you had a lot of fun out there tonight and you're fun team to watch what I learned most about myself this season is that I can make Casey's sarcasm rise to a whole new level for me football means being with my friends and everyone working together to accomplish something that's greater than just themselves what I learned about myself this season is that not only can I play the game I can commentate the game, and I can ref the game. Coach Barry has a note uh, yeah. that Coach Hackert was, it was sent to Coach Hackert from an alumni from the, the 60s. So. Greetings from the Billing Central Ram team of 1968. 49 years ago this month, our team traveled across the state to meet the Hamilton Bronx in the semifinal game of the Class A playoffs. You will now make that same trip with excitement and anticipation as we had, and the pride in being a Ram. Everyone on our team had a tremendous amount of pride in being a Billing Central Ram. In fact, it was something we all dreamed about from early grade school. So when it was our turn to represent the school on our football field, we worked as hard as we could the entire season to achieve the opportunity to compete in the playoffs. Now it's your turn. So as I will share some thoughts with you that we carried into that game. Trust your training. The fundamentals that were drilled into us all year became critical at this point. Remember everything that you have been taught to do. Trust your teammates. Our team had a special bond which allowed each of us to do our job 
because we knew that our teammates would do their job. You guys have great unity. Make sure you rely on that. Have patience. It took us deep into the fourth quarter to break a 28-28 tie and win the game, so don't ever give up. One last memory is a pregame prayer that we shared right before we took the field. That was a ritual that we followed before every game, but that day seemed to bring to the forefront the trust and patience that was critical for us to perform as a team. We are proud of you for your success so far this year and wish you good luck this weekend. God bless you all. Tim Struth and the 68 Rams. Bottom line is, fellas, you guys have this kind of built up. This is a football game. That's all it is. When the first whistle blows, it's like every other game you've played. Okay? Do your job. Okay? Don't do more. Don't do less. Do your job. When you get tired, that's when your feet stop on tackles. That's when your pad levels get to the wrong height. And it's mental. All the conditioning we've done, we know three minutes after it's over, we're, we're perfectly fine. We're not gonna die, we're perfectly fine. So when you get fatigued, it's mental. Do not spend the rest of your off season, or for you seniors saying, God, I was tired, but I could have went more. Okay? Don't let that be the thing. If we play attack football, okay, we're gonna be fine. We all know there's gonna be five or six plays in this football game that in three hours from now, everyone's gonna be like, that was an incredible play. That's the one that got it. So every single snap, you gotta be ready to make your plays that come to you. Do your job. What's the move? Can I tell the truth? If I was doing this for you, then I have nothing left to prove. Nah. Home day today. We're gonna wear them out. Put a smile on your face and enjoy being the bad man here. We're playing Smash Mouth football today, fellas. Smash Mouth today. It ain't Skelly. They can't handle us physically. Break their will with your physicality. Get on up, get on dude! Fuck us, get back in! I'm a low slow, and I just do it cause I'm smoking.
Just getting started. What's the move? Can I tell the truth? If I was doing this for you, then I have nothing left to prove. Nah, this for me though. I'm just trying to stay alive and take care of my people. And they don't have no award for that. Trophies. Trophies. And they don't have no award for that. They don't come with trophies. Ain't no envelopes to open. I just do it cause I'm supposed to. You got him on the ropes, fellas. O line, you got that D line on the ropes. You got him on the ropes. Go break him. You got him on the ropes. Go finish him, O line. Go finish him, O line. Hey, grind on him, grind on him, grind on him. Let's go get out. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
The thing I learned most while playing football is that there's nothing more valuable or rewarding than being a part of a team.